Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching The Inside Scoop. I'm your host, Steve Scanlon. Sitting next to me is my co-host, Bubba. Welcome, Bubba. Hey, yo. <laughs> and sitting next to Bubba is Joe. Uh -huh. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me for what? <laughs> Introducing you by the right Jack name? Gable bit. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, usually I call you the wrong name. But I actually called you the right name today, Joe. All right, we got quite a few things to cover in this episode. But first things first, we're going to go over the death list that Joe has written. So, Joe, who passed away within the last few weeks? Or so oh, I yeah, say weeks? Uh, Sesame Street star Emilio Delgado, otherwise known as Luis. On Sesame Street. Now he was a voice on Sesame Street. What characters? He wasn't was a he voice. He was he an wasn't? on screen actor. Oh, yes, he, he was, was. an on screen yes. actor. Oh, in fact, his okay. wife, well, I think it's his ex wife now, was also a cast member of that show as well. Okay. She I... played Maria on the show. Oh. Um, actor William Hurt. Yes, great actor. He was in. Um, he did. Oh, well, I get him confused with the elephant man. That was John Hurt, but William Hurt was also a great actor. Two, two very good actors. So both passed. I know they have. And finally, WWE wrestler Hall of Famer Scott Hall. If you see how I started the show, yeah. folks, folks, hey yo, yo here to see WCW or the NWO. I mean, what can I say that hasn't been said about Scott Hall? He's, I think he's one of the biggest stars in WWE, WCW history. He had his character that everyone loved. Hmm. It just shows you that a young man, he wasn't that old, 63, I believe, Joey. Yeah. You can help me with age. He was also in AWA before. Yes, WWE. he was. He Scott was Hall. He, was, he, he One half with, of the tag team champs with Kurt Henning. Yes, he was. You're absolutely correct on who's that. He's another too. WWE Hall of Famer himself. Yes, who's also passed on way too young. Yep. I mean, alcoholism is, is a tough thing, folks. That's what Scott Hall. But a lot of you people don't realize a lot of these wrestlers drink because they're in pain. They wrestle with, with injuries. They wrestle with broken limbs. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them take pain medications and drink to get rid of their pains. They have a lot of pains in their body. Oh, wrestling's fake. Wrestling, yes, is K-fabbed. But these guys are getting real injuries, real injuries. I've shown you guys my real injury. I'm not gonna show it on camera. Shut up for me. When you, you, you I'll crack with Lily, Emily, and myself. <laughs> yeah. I, you, I won't, huh? <laughs> I'll knock that hat right off your head. And Timmy told me not to take crap from you or him. <laughs> Don't make me get the bat out. <laughs> now, Scott it, Hall was also bah. known as Razor Ramon. Hey, yo. In WWE. Yes. And um, I wonder if in the near future, He'll be inducted again to the Hall of Fame. I think he's in twice he's already. He's in twice. He's in twice. Now, when I say a third oh, time, I'm thinking about the tag team of the Outsiders. Because I think they're one of the top tag teams. And one of the most wrestling. underrated. I mean, they basically went to WCW, and they started the NWO from it. Eric Bischoff got the idea to make these guys NWO. Mm -hmm. I mean, who didn't start the show? Ray's Ramon would start the show with the saying I've been the saying. Survey, yeah. Hey, yo, you all here to see WCW or the NWO? And throw the toothpick at you. That's what I thought so. I mean, it was basically the Ray's Ramon character. But, I mean, one of the greatest matches maybe ever made or ever filmed was him and, was it him and Macho Man? Was it him and, um... Ricky Steamboat in WrestleMania 3 ladder match. Was that one of the first ones, Joey? I'm, I'm that was a much man Ricky Steamboat. Oh, okay, but I know Razor did a lot yeah. of ladder matches. Yeah, had a great one with Shawn Michaels, 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 Michaels at WrestleMania 10. Had a phenomenal yeah. match. One of the greatest matches ever I've ever seen. <laughs> but he, he was just a great worker. I mean, I never met the man I wanted to. I've met Kevin Nash. I never met Scott Hall. Hmm. You'll hear me say yo a few times in this show because it's respect. 
Mm. He was the original bad man. He was the bad man from wrestling. He was, when bad was cool, I mean, he played a character that we're all going to remember. Mm -hmm. I put something on my Facebook page. I know Joey has me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Maybe you saw it when he was on Jerry Springer show. And he gave oh, yes. Two terminal I pins. think I've seen that episode. It was before they went through all this crazy stuff. Well, and right and he, he gave two, a terminally ill kid who passed away now his intercontinental belt. He gave him his real belt. That's just mm. respect for Russell. That was nice of him to do that. Well, to two children that were dying mm -hmm. from one had cancer. Gave him his belt. He said, you know, you always be my champion. He was one of his idols was Razor Ramon character with yeah. Scott Hall. Mm -hmm. I mean that's uh, he earned my respect to that a lot. Taking care of a child like that. Prior to wrestling, he used to be a bouncer. Yes, he was. Yeah. A club. I mean, we could name some of his, his characters. Scott Hall was, he, he basically wrestled as his own name for mm -hmm. a while. Razor Ramon. Yeah. I think that was only two names he used. Yes. I mean, not uh, Kevin Nash I had, see, um, Kevin Nash no, had, wait, wait, wait. had three characters. Wait, um, Scott Hall was in WCW before he went to WWE. Um, what was he, the Diamond Stud? Diamond Stud. Diamond Stud. Yes. yes. So that was the third gimmick he had, the Diamond Stud. His, his best friend in life, Kevin Nash, was Kevin Nash. Mm -hmm. He was Oz. He was Diesel. The, uh, uh, was it the Vinny? Vinny, Vinny Vegas. Vegas. Yep, that's his fourth identity he was. I mean, I've been saying this, and I'm going to say this this weekend, too. These wrestlers play characters characters they'll go into their persona these characters now i'm going to a wrestling show this weekend saturday i'm going to fairhaven down to middle street in fairhaven to, at the vfw all quick correction I, I think it's the vfw fairhaven on middle street and stephen lust is their champion and now i had a little bit of a situation with stephen lust i'm not going to go into a long story about it but Stephen Lust plays a character. He's always been a rule breaker. He first came out member of Middlesex Express. They were, if you remember correctly, you saw him in the SPW, they come out as face. And it didn't take off as a face. So they became rule breakers. I mean, how many people didn't yell Middlesex Express somethings? And I would yell rocks and people were yelling something else. Mm -hmm. These people, these wrestlers play characters. They're playing a character and they're wrestling. Razor Ramon character was one of the five greatest characters, I think, in WWE, WCW, and AWA history. Undertaker is the greatest character ever. Period. That's the end of the story. That doesn't even match the... No, Razor Ramon, did he get that character from Scarface? No. No. He, it was based on a little bit from Scarface, but it was actually from the mind of Vince Russo, okay. who worked for... Vince McMahon, as a writer, who became writer of WCW. Okay. Eric Bischoff had essentially started the NWO, but it was through, that was through the mind of Vince Russo. Love the guy, hate the guy, the guy was a good writer. Mm -hmm. He was, he, he, you saw him occasionally on, on TV in WCW. Yeah. Took a little, a little from Joe's Thunder, too. But, Joe, can we now go into, and I'm going to help you, Steve, go into the WrestleMania final card? I have it. If you don't have it written down, I have it mostly in my head. I forgot my list at home. Uh, and some, let's of make our final update. some of these matches are also updated. Yes, too, I know Bianca Belair is out of WrestleMania. Oh, she wow. hurt her throat. Oh, that's the... When Big Time Bex hit her with a chair, she's actually... Okay cracked her larynx, wow. and she is out of WrestleMania. I'm not sure who Becky Lynch is going to be wrestling. That's one that we have to watch wrestling this week and find out. But they're going to announce a new opponent for, for Becky. Mm -hmm. I have a person who I would love to see as her opponent, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, we do the whole thing? Go ahead, yeah, and we'll give our picks again real uh, quick. Uh, WWE and Universal titles, Lesnar and Reigns. I'm staying with my pick. I think it's going to be Roman Reigns. 
because I don't, I can't see Brock Lesnar working on both shows and working every week. I can't see him doing it. Really I want Lesnar to win, but I think Roman Reigns is going to win that match so that, just because of that one reason. Because Roman's willing to work at least three times a month. I'd like to see someone um, beat Roman Reigns and take his title. So I'm going to go with the guy I want to win, Brock Lesnar. How about you, Joe? I'm going with the beast that things he's been doing the last so last week or so. See what happened on um, SmackDown this yeah. past week? Ripped the car, uh, <laughs> a door off a truck. Mm -hmm. A strong man. If you remember correctly, Braun Strowman's done that before too. Yeah. If you ever watch the show South Beach Toll, <laughs> Bernice, <laughs> one of the drivers there tore a door off a car. So <laughs> it's not a hard thing to do, I guess. I've never done it. Even Joe's done right. it though. Joe told me he did it. I'll just skip over the second match because I don't know what's going on with that. It was one. a Tonka toy, but. <clears throat> it's got to go to the Raw Women's Championship. But I'm just skip we don't that know one. what's up with that right now because I don't know who. I, I, who I'd like to see her wrestle, is, but she's not wearing the contract anymore, is Nia Jax. If not, I would like to see someone from NXT come up and take the challenge. I really would. Um, the SmackDown Women's title, Charlotte and Ronda. Ronda. I think Ronda Rossi is going to win the match because of the fact she's getting a humongous push and they're trying to get Charlotte to the 16 wins, same as her dad. This will be her 15. I'm going to go with it. Ronda Rossi myself as a pick. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the rowdy one. <laughs> um, Edge and AJ. Which is still happening, thankfully. Yeah. Um, that could potentially be the match of WrestleMania if they let it become the match of WrestleMania. Two even wrestlers, two talented, talented wrestlers who could definitely work a match. I'm going to pick Edge to win the match. I'm going to agree with you, Bubba. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> You're going with uh, AJ Styles? Yeah. Now, you see Seth Rollins the last couple of weeks trying to yeah. win a match to go to WrestleMania. I have a feeling he's going to be challenging someone different for an uh, interview. Still now, one more um, week before that. Like this past Monday, I gave Joey a call <laughs> after Omis made a um, challenge for anyone for WrestleMania. And I'm thinking, like I told Joe, I'm wondering if Seth Rollins is going to accept his challenge. Seth Rollins suicidal? <laughs> Even though um, I think Seth Rollins, probably all of us will think he'll probably lose the arm almost. But at least he'll be a WrestleMania match and he'll make her There was a question on appearance. Facebook. I don't know if Joey saw it, but I don't know if he has the same people I do on Facebook. What do you think of Omos? I personally think he's the modern day giant Kali. Can't wrestle for being, he's just a big, big man. Choke, choke slam, goozle, pen. I mean, he's too big. He's seven foot four, weighs about 425, 430. They say he's only 400 pounds, I think he's more than that. He's a big, strong man who really can't wrestle. McMahon's kind of a name with giants, so. <laughs> He's the modern day giant cuddly. In my opinion of him. Well, the one giant that I think could wrestle pretty good is the big show. Uh, I think John Studd could wrestle too. Oh, Studd, I think, is definitely one of the best wrestling big giants men. that they're. Six they foot were, ten, big man. Know. It never really got the accolades he should have. I believe he is a Hall of Famer. Because I think the most, well. If not, he should be. I'm not saying the best wrestling giant, but I think the most popular giant so Andre, is Andre. No getting around to Andre Moosemuff is the, maybe one of the most popular wrestlers of all time exactly. ever. Go ahead, Joey. Uh, the Mysterios is Miz and Logan Paul. I'm surprised you won that. I'm going with the Miz and Logan Paul in an upset. I'm gonna go with the tag team that been wrestling as a tag team for a while, the father and son team of the Mysterios. I think Dominic is gonna turn on his father. <laughs> I've read it somewhere that he's supposed to be turning on his father. Something's gonna happen that match. That's my opinion. I think I said that before. Joey, what? we always get we always <laughs> make your pick. I'm gonna go with the father and son myself. Okay. Now this is one of the matches that was updated. Because it went from being a three-way to a fatal four-way. Mm -hmm. It's the women's tag titles. It's Carmella and Z Zelina against Naomi and Sasha, 
Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, and now Natalya and Shayna Baszler. I'm surprised because I read a rumor that Shayna Baszler may be on her way out. She may be leaving WWE. I've heard rumors of this. Again, I saw it on the internet. I'll pick first again. I like to pick first, and you guys can copy me or go against me. I personally, I want Liv and Rhea Ripley to win the match. But I'm going to shock you. Naomi and Sasha win that match. I'm going to go with you on that one. I'm a big Sasha Banks fan, so I'm going to go with that tag team to win. I think the whole thing with Naomi upsetting uh, Sonya Deville and her winning a title would be really good <coughs> for business right now. Who you picked to win, Joe? I'm going to go with Liv and Rhea. Uh, next is Drew and Corbin. <laughs> How happy are you? <laughs> I think Drew McIntyre destroyed Baron Corbin or Happy Corbin. Corbin what's Mad Cat Moron gets involved there? I'm going to go with Drew myself. Yes. Yeah, I'm going with the guy I'm wearing. Who are you wearing? He Drew, doesn't know. Drew, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Corbin Wait a minute. Doesn't, Corbin doesn't want to. Emily, who are you going with? <laughs> I'm going to Alexa Bliss. <laughs> Alexa Bliss is not wrestling. <laughs> Pat McAvee and Austin Theory. I've met Austin Theory. I've never met Pat McAvee, but I think Pat McAvee is going to win the match. But I think Mr. McMahon is going to come out and yell at Pat McAvee or something. He's going to get involved somehow in that match. He's been... Austin Theory's been kind of rubbing elbows with, with, with McMahon to try to build up his character. I've never seen Pat McAvee wrestle. Don't have to. He's the next football player. Oh, okay. But I'm going to go with um, Austin Theory on this one. I think Vince McMahon will do her interference or a distraction. I'm going with McAvee. Thank you. Uh, and then we got the SmackDown tag, tag titles. The Usos against Boogs and Nakamura. Did they take the title off the bloodline? Did they take them off now? <laughs> I like Rick Boogs. I think he's a good, strong athlete. Does some crazy, unbelievable stuff. I, I, I wore my Strong Style sweatshirt tonight. I like Shinsuke and Nakamura as a champion. <clears throat> they took the uh, <clears throat> IC title off of him. It's who is the IC champion now? I get confused. It's changed his hands so Ricochet. much. Ricochet. I don't like Ricochet is a great athlete, but he shouldn't be a champion. But yeah, so far that title in the other Mikado title. Who I want right to? Here. I want Shinsuke and Boogs to win, <coughs> but I think the Usos win the match. <coughs> so I'm gonna pick <coughs> Shinsuke and Boogs to win the match in an upset. I don't think they're gonna take the titles off of uh, Usos yet, though. I'm gonna go with the Usos. I'm going with Boogs and Nakamura. Uh, this one became an anything goes match between Johnny Knoxville and uh, Sami Zayn. I'm going to go with Sami Zayn on this. <laughs> so am I. Joey? I got to go the opposite with you on that one. It's okay. Go with Johnny Knoxville. The last one I have on here is was updated. Now a three-way match. It's RK Bro defending against Street Profits and the former champions Alpha Academy. Mm-hmm. I think RK Bro wins the match. I'm not a big fan right now of the Street Profits. I think that much of the heel of their face, they're coming out kind of partial heel. The Alpha Academy are wrestling great together. I've been called a, a blackhead lotus. Uh, you look like Chad Gable, not about the same size, but you look like Shoddy Gable. I'm going to go with RK Bro. I'm going with RK Bro to win the match. Who does he remind you of? Bastion Booger. Right? <laughs> he eats a lot and gets no hair. Well, Chad Gable, I would like great to athlete. see <coughs> Kurt Angle come back to the WWE <coughs> and wrestle Chad. I want to see, is, is, is his name match. Pennington? Bruce Pennington, the one who says he's no longer wrestling and amateur, who just won 
like his mm. third or fourth national title. WWE is talking to him. Mm. I mean, I have spoken to who was the Baumgartner? Was it Bruce Baumgartner? Who was a two-time gold medalist? He won two. Mm -hmm. He told me Kurt Angle is probably the greatest pure wrestler he's ever seen. And he even wow. says over over me he was better. But they're saying keep an eye on this Bruce Pennington guy, who's supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. I'm looking more into this man. Sure. Of course, it it's split over two days, so yep. it should be some really good. A couple of days of wrestling, mm -hmm. it's April 2nd and 3rd. Mm -hmm. April Fool's Day, which is Friday, mm -hmm. they're gonna have the Hall of Fame ceremony. It's Randy Orton's birthday, too. Talk about Hall of Fame. Do they induct any new Hall of Fame? Uh, so far, I've got, we've got The Undertaker, Vader, and Charmel. I've heard the Steiner brothers, but I heard Scott is reluctant <coughs> to go in because he has beef with Mr. McMahon, with Vince McMahon. If not, Rick will go in by himself. He's kind of mm -hmm. doing it out of respect for his son, Braun. Braun Breaker is, you know, big and... No, that's Rick's son? Yes. Braun. Okay. That's Rick's, that's a dog face ride. I've met Scott Steiner in person. Big kid. Huge kid. Very big man. Soft-spoken, yes. Yeah. To me, he was very soft-spoken. And I actually got along with him. I thought he was, the, he was okay. Yeah. He comes across, I guess, the wrestlers as very hard to deal with. He tries to hurt people in the ring. Um, he just has a little bit of an attitude problem, so I'm told, out of the ring. And even in the back, a lot of wrestlers don't like him because of it. I think Scott's a, a great, people forget he's a four-time All-American from Michigan State, him and his brother Rick. So the guy can wrestle. I mean, he dyed his hair from black hair to, to blonde and took a couple cycles of roids and became Big Papa Pump. And kind of, I guess, I guess the roids kind of uh, made him angry. Mm -hmm. He's not I a big fan that no one How many Hulk times Hogan. he had to go to anger management? No, he probably never, because he won't go. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, he's the current big time champion. We saw him in Pawtucket, remember? Mm -hmm. He's the current, he's still their champion. Still? Wow. Yep. He deserves to be their champion. And that happened uh, right before the pandemic hit. Yes, and they've had a couple of matches. I know they had them up on the North Shore, okay. which I haven't been going to. I try, try not to travel too much to the North Shore. Now, when it comes down to tag teams, I think the Steiner brothers, when they were in their prime, Top were one five. of the greatest tag teams ever in wrestling. Top five. I, in my, they're in my top five, like I mentioned before. Mm hmm let me go into real quickly some of the independent shows. Okay. I've been to a couple of them recently. NCW was good in Dedham. Now, Brett Ryan Gosling's their champion. Bad guy, he beat Lumberjake. Uh, RWA had a great event. It was a two-day event for Faba for cancer. Sponsored by um, the Squire, Paul Barrow, that was a great event, and their new champion is Stephen Lust. He's also champion in Mass Gladiators MGW, which is in Fairhaven this week. He's Steve Lust is also their champion there. I'm proud of Steve Lust. Uh, he's a heel breaker. I mentioned him earlier from Middlesex Express. Great worker. I consider him a personal friend, and I'm glad to see him getting a push as an independent champion. AJ Phoenix won the FABA Cup. That's what they had this past weekend. I saw it at IWA, and you know, I was in both shows on Saturday and Sunday down in, on uh, Willard Street in East Providence. They're coming up again next month. Google it, IWA Wrestling. Um. LPW, I said, we saw their matches. They have something coming up. I believe the next one is in June. I think it's June the 18th. It's a while away, because they only do shows every couple months. They have another show before that somewhere, but I generally only go to the one on Hudson. Um, there's gonna be a week in June that I will not be here. I am already booked. 
going to a different venue. I'm going to Mariasville for the holiday rendezvous. I'm going back. I haven't been there for a few years. I, I got my ticket. So I won't be here for one of the tapings in, in June. That's uh, because I'll be leaving on a Wednesday. And we, we taped you on a Wednesday night or a Thursday. Next week, and I'm mentioning it April 16th. Where are we? New World Wrestling Extreme is going zero tolerance, making their debut at Platinum City Gaming on Winthrop Street in Taunton. Yes, local. It's a 10, 15 minute ride, maybe 20 minute ride, folks, to get to Taunton. Go see a great card. It's gonna be a great card, I'll, I'll be there. Next, our next taping, we're hoping to have Jim Allen here, the promoter from, I always get this name wrong. New World Wrestling. New World Wrestling Extreme. We're hoping to having him, he'll discuss his show better. I'm mean, a 30 year veteran in the business. Mm -hmm. I've known Trooper Gilmore for well over 26 years. I've actually talked to him this afternoon, talked to him today, talked to him this morning. Been talking a lot lately. I remember watching him on local assets in Boston. Yes, yeah, he As worked. As a teenager, um, he was on some of their wrestling programs. Now, I want to thank Joey for his list. I, Joey, you know I joke and laugh at you a lot. Yeah. But your lists are very important to this, to this show. Mm -hmm. Steve, I want to thank you for allowing me to be on this show. We have a little bit of time after this. I want to thank our director for having us on the show, allowing us to tape our show, allowing us to, to push wrestling. Wrestling is an entertainment, folks. I love going to wrestling. I love watching wrestling. I love looking at wrestling. I love going to independent shows and watching, seeing guys get themselves bigger, get themselves up like Sasha Banks, like Iba, who's local, like Carmelo Anthony, who's a champion now in NCW or NXT. He's a local kid. I love seeing these kids making, making money in wrestling. It excites me. Again, on a personal level, and go for it real quick. I wanna wish, which, make sure everyone watches WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all. Now you mentioned you like wrestling. I love wrestling. I like food. I know that. I'm just being honest. Thank God you bless folks. you out there. God bless you, Scott Hall. Hey, yo. Y'all here to see WCW or the NWO? You're not here to get food, Chris. You're here to make sure Emily has a dad. <laughs> All right, until next time, folks. Have yourselves a great two weeks, and we'll see you next time. Hey, yo.